So let's quickly make it. So I have this empty material, which name is shockwave, and I'll take a radial here, radial exponent. If I preview on a planar, this is how it looks. I can invert this, so it will be black from here. Then we can copy and make this one a little sharper, maybe 50. And see, this looks sharp. Then we can multiply these together. And it will be like this. And you can increase the radius of this one, maybe 0.8. And you can also use here a power if you want to control and then finally i'll take the particle color which will go here and this will go here the opacity and then make your material translucent or additive and then to side it let's save it so after saving it i have this niagara system which has just one particle spawning per second so what i'll do i'll use this material in this one and let's increase the size of this maybe 100 I don't need this mass and now we have this and i'll take the size curve and make the curve little like this and maybe life 0.5 cool and then i'll just align custom alignment custom facing vector and take here align to mesh orientation instead of x take the z and you got it let's make it blue i want to fade it so i'll take the scale color and curve and just make this fade maybe after 0.5 i want to fade this and you can make size little bigger cool and just make it local and move it on the ground And here's your shockwave. 